smashes the inside of the Millville Chicane Corner. Welcome back everyone to some more F124 Driver Career Mode. Uh, it is time to head to Monaco, uh, one of the more boring races on the calendar. Um, but it'll still be fun nonetheless. Standings wise, how do we look? A solid start to the season so far. Australia is the outlier with that weird weather. Otherwise, solid podiums all, all along the board. It's looking good for McLaren as we lead the driver standings in a 1-2 fashion and the constructor standings way ahead of Red Bull. So that is good to see uh red bull currently best car on the grid fluctuating because of the balancing out the field scenario uh so they'll get a penalty once more as we head into the monaco grand prix weekend yep they just got hit with a penalty that brought them slightly closer to us so that is good to see anyway Ten, time to head to Monaco. Let's see what we can do here. If you guys are enjoying the series, of course, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe using the subscribe button down below. Really do appreciate your support. Let's jump into qualifying then. Let's see where we can put this car. Uh, let's drop our fuel to the bare minimum and then head out there. Let the cars go on for a little bit and then time to set a lap. I don't think this will be too bad of a lab. Let's see. Oh, P7. Not great. We can recharge though, I think. We'll let Hukenberg through who's on his push lap. We'll recharge and then go again. We have fuel for it. Light improvement. Could have been more, but it's P14 right now. Man, losing my Monaco touch here, man. Well, let's see if we got a lap that's sufficient for a Q2 appearance. Yes, it is. Russell, Behrman, Vesti, Ricardo, and Perez out. Wow, some big names missing uh, in Q2. Oh. Oh. Mistake. Oh, no. Who is this? It's 97. Oscar Piastri. Mistake heading into Novo Chicane. Smashes his car. Wow. Here it is again. Wow. Did not expect that crash to happen. Ferrari makes a huge mistake. Terrible mistake here. I think I accidentally said Piastri when we looked at that replay, but it's actually uh, Fittipaldi. Fittipaldi crashed out. This okay, is my used softs run. And it's not looking good, obviously, since the tires are pretty worn. And tires die off pretty quickly here in Monaco. So we'll go back in, fresh softs on, see how it goes. Alright. Another lap done. This time it's P2. Very solid lap on the fresh softs. Two purple sectors and a green sector three. As the AI comes out now for their final laps. Do I save these tires? I think I want to save these tires. I think that should be good enough for us to get into Q3. But what do you know? What a stellar lap. P2 by the end of Q2. Fittipaldi crashed out. Of course, Joe, Alcon, Sainz, and Hülkenberg all knocked out. Alright, what did you do, Alex Albon? I think he may have crashed as well here. This is a outlap. Again. Again, smashes the inside 
of the Novel Chicane Corner. Yeah, the entry into Novel Chicane. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, eight tenths approved on my previous lap on used tires. Where does that put us for the start of the Grand Prix? P6. Aye, not not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be higher up. Maybe if I was faster on a certain number of corners, I would have gained this one tenth at least on Verstappen. Could have brought me up here next to Norris. But hey, P6 is fine. Let's see how the race goes on race day. Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world-famous Monte Carlo Casino that first opened in 1863. And of course, a certain road race first held in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position and it's Lance Stroll in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, the rookie, Albon, Theo Porcher, Sonoda, Holkenberg, Sainz, Ocon, Joe, Fittipaldi, Perez, Ricardo, Oscar Piastri, Vesti, Behrman, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. So let's jump into this race. P6 starting position will drop our lap by one. So we have a slight faster uh, boxing lap uh, free of traffic. Let's just get into it. All right, let's jump into this race. See what we can pull off here. Can we stay close to the guys ahead? Lights out. Got a jump on Alonso. Around the outside of Hamilton, up into P4. What a launch. Alright, Norris. Paved the way for me, buddy. We're staying close to these guys. An undercut might work wonders here. A track that is almost impossible to overtake on. Strategy is going to play a huge part. Ah, took that wide. Lost me so much time there. Couple tenths. Surprising. My thumb nearly slipped. My thumb nearly slipped. Oh, slight nudge. It's okay. I think that won't buff out. Slight damage DRS to the tire. This lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS. Oh, zone. that was bad. But we keep going. We'll be fine. Oh. Norris going slowly. What's happening? Norris, why are you going slowly? Is that an engine issue? Well. Give me the position. He is going slowly. Driver behind. And that's Lando behind. They're on fresh mediums. We think they've got one more stop. Your last lap time, 110.1. I'm not driving all too badly, but I just can't seem to catch Lance Stroll. Skill issue. Man. Lance Stroll really cooking today. I mean, he's cooked in this series quite a bit. Since that Aston Martin became like a rocket ship. But my gosh, I just can't seem to catch him. 
current medium tire pace is not good for us. As it stands, we need to find something. We need to find some additional pace somewhere. Lost a full second in the past three laps, I think. That wheel spin's not gonna help. We're gonna box this lap and push hard on the in lap. All right, boxing lap has arrived. We've been slowly building a gap to my teammate behind, but also trying to close in a little bit on the car ahead. Box this lap. Think you understood. Unless a safety car happens, I think Max Verstappen has won this race. But for now, we're trying our best just to eat away at the time ahead. Right, keep pushing. Keep consistent laps. Ahead. Consistent right, let's have laps. You at the end of this lap, Oh, that was a good chunk of time eating out of that delta. Remember, box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach and make sure you don't speed. I don't trust this car at this stage, man. These tires are done. They have no grip. No grip. No grip, no grip. Alright, in we go for the hards. Let's cook on these hards, please. Should be in some free air, I think. Okay, 2.4, not bad from Perfect the team. From you the Usually we like to get nice screwed ride. over by the team, but on this occasion we get a bit of respite with a decent stop. Yes, right in that slot, please. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Sue me. I do not care. And we're through on fresh hearts. Slight more grip. Not optimal, but better than the mediums, for sure. Where's the brick in there, mate? Piastri's so far back. I'm hoping a good chunk of these guys also pit on this lap, because it is the first round of pit stop lap. Okay, Piastri's in. Nice. ERS oh, my teammate ERS and Hamilton's also in. I think I took a slight hit. But we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. These guys will be going in. This lap, I think. See if I can get Russell here. Slight nudge. No tire concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Let's make some overtakes. There we go. Pass Russell. Overtakes are possible here in Monaco. Just sketchy as if something went in my eye. Gotta cut that corner. Ah. Had to blink for a split second. Very inconvenient time at that. Okay. I think I'm fine. Okay, so all of our tire pressure data is currently reading zero. Assuming they still look inflated to you, we're gonna guess that it's just a bad sensor. Shouldn't be anything to worry about. Mark, shut up. Copy. Yapping on about tire data again. That they're deflated tires. Shut up, really. Shut up. Let me drive. Also, I noticed we jumped stroll from that pit stop earlier. I was too busy caring for my eye that I completely forgot to see that stroll is now behind us. So the undercut worked. Smart strategy. Big gains. Let's see if we can close in on Verstappen, but he's way too fast. Starting to really struggle on these hearts. What's going on? Not quite sure. 
Like, I'm really struggling turning the car. I'm losing time to stroll because of it. It's kind of strange. Hearts are not a good tire. But they're the most resilient, so we can't really ignore them. Because they're the most resilient. They can go this race full distance. Really need to start building. Maybe I'm in the graining phase where the tire's just not going to respond as I want it to. And then once that passes, maybe we'll have a better chance, better driving pace. I'm not sure. Like, what's that? Alright, Stroll's catching 100% if I keep driving like that. Many laps later, here he goes. Maintaining P2. Max Verstappen's won it. But we will get P2 here, hopefully. Just have to keep it clean. On the track. There's some phantom turning on the circuit. Like, I would be full right turn. And then all of a sudden, the car will turn left. I've noticed that happen in this, on the circuit. I don't know if that's a controller issue or if that's a game mechanic issue. And then also, uh, power deployment. Sometimes it would accelerate on its own. Other times not. Like, what in the world was that? I didn't even turn left! That's what I've been fighting. Oh, come on. Well, at least it's the last lap. If that happened earlier, I would have been fuming. Max Verstappen wins it. Dominant win for Max Verstappen today. But we maintain a big enough gap ahead of Stroll. Perfect strategy. P2. Here in Monaco. That's yes. all right. Yes, come on. We're on the podium. Good job this weekend. That's a great drive. Thank you. And in the end, there was no Verstappen. Max Verstappen, he takes victory. And it's always good, Crofty, to get that momentum on your side. And it's really good for your confidence as well. The more confident you are, the further that can take you. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. Well, there we have it then. P2 by the end of it. Max Verstappen just absolutely dominating this weekend. 14 seconds ahead of me. A little bit extra on top of that as well. And Stroll in P3. Hamilton, Norris, Alonso, Sonoda, Sainz, Ocon, and Porsche in the points. A little unfortunate for Lando Norris. I wish he would have gotten a bit more, maybe up into P4. Um, but yeah, he couldn't make that happen. Hülkenberg, Ricardo, Albon, Perez, Joe, Russell, Piastri, Fittipaldi, Vesti, and Behrman round out the finishers. No DNFs this weekend, but of course, the uh, Ferrari cars doing absolutely horrendously. Uh, so yeah, that is good for us at least. Still leading, but Max Verstappen overtakes Lando Norris for P2. Runners up is now under threat, uh, so Norris really needs to pull his weight here. Uh, seven points in it between them, but still in the constructors, we're ahead by 80 points. Red Bull gaining slightly as um, Max Verstappen wins it and gets the fastest lap. So a little concerning, but not too much. We still have a buffer to play around with, and yeah, that was another solid race. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe using the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as they upload next. There's more F1 content coming on this channel, so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out. 
Thank you guys so much for the support. Take care, and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.